Carl Sagan's famous words, we are star stuff, refers to a mind-blowing idea that most atomic nuclei in our bodies were created in the nuclear furnaces and explosive deaths of stars that lived in the ancient universe. In recent years, it's become clear that the truth is even more mind-blowing. Many of Earth's heavy elements, including most precious metals, were produced in an even more spectacular event, the collision of neutron stars. And sometimes in physics, they'll have the rings sort of as, as sort of nested circles. They're, they're, they're smaller circles and there are bigger circles. And we talk about electrons jumping between those different orbits. Calling what an electron is and where it is around an atom in orbit is actually very misleading. In truth, electrons don't move around a nucleus the same way that planets move around a star at all. It's very, very different. And part of that has to do with what an electron really is. Elementary particles are not tiny, tiny little balls that are actually moving through space. They're, they're more properly described as waves. And an electron does not exist in only one location around an atom. It actually exists as a wave. And what that means is that there are volumes around the nucleus of an atom that an electron will fill in. A single electron can actually be an entire sphere around the nucleus of an atom. It's a cool story. It'd be cooler if it were true. If the experiment works, the next step will be the transplantation of a human brain. The brain cells are being reactivated by an atomic fission produced in the cyclotron. Or these orbitals, as we call them, and again, I caution you, nothing's actually moving around like a planet around a star. Some of these orbitals are shaped like dumbbells and a single electron actually fills out a volume that looks like a dumbbell, or sometimes they look like a disk. So these actually are mathematical solutions which show you where the probability of finding this electron is around an atom. We call these electron shells, and it's not that a single electron is moving around inside the shell. It's in the whole shell all at once. The electron actually fills in that volume, and all you're looking at is a probability area of where that electron may be. The brain cells are being reactivated by an atomic fission produced in the cyclotron. So there really isn't any circular motion around an atom. It's true that electrons have angular momentum, they have something that we can actually measure as spin, but they're not actually spinning, they're not actually moving around. You can sort of think of them as clouds that can exist in different locations around the nucleus based on how much energy they have. So despite our depictions of atoms with you know, the nucleus in the middle and electrons going around the outside, reality is nothing like that. Electrons form these volumes, and some of those volumes even go through the nucleus. Some of these dumbbells actually have electrons existing inside the nucleus as well. What an atom really is is far more complicated than our artistic depictions of it. Far more mysterious, and I think really wonderful. One of the, the best things to study in quantum mechanics is how electrons form these volumes. The brain cells are being reactivated by an atomic fission. Produced in the cyclotron. Elementary particles 
are not tiny, tiny little balls that are actually moving through space. They're, they're more properly described as waves. And an electron does not exist in only one location around the atom. It actually exists as a wave. And what that means is that there are volumes around the nucleus of an atom that an electron will fill in. A single electron can actually be an entire sphere around the nucleus of an atom. So there really isn't any circular motion around an atom. It's true that electrons have angular momentum, have something that we can actually measure as spin, but they're not actually spinning, they're not actually moving around. You can sort of think of them as clouds that can exist in different locations around the nucleus based on how much energy they have. Produced in the cyclotron. It's true that electrons have angular momentum, have something that we can actually measure as spin, but they're not actually spinning, they're not actually moving around. It's true that electrons have angular momentum, have something that we can actually measure as spin, but they're not actually spinning, they're not actually moving around. It's true that electrons have angular momentum, have something that we can actually measure as spin, but they're not actually spinning, they're not actually moving around. If the experiment works, the next step will be the transplantation of a human brain. The brain cells are being reactivated by an atomic fission produced in the cyclotron.